Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had it, kids. I'm Q, the Costa Rican coach of the Chicago Dragapults. Yes, sir. We are back here again with another Pokemon Draft League battle. This time, we're in the Pokemon Battle Academy, otherwise known as the PBA. Here in week five, we're going up against the homie Amel, coach of the Montreal. I was going to say Skarupis, but I think that might have been his old team or that's somebody else. Either way, it's the Montreal Ice Q. He's really fire logo. And uh, yeah, man, um, link to his channel in the description down below. I'm unsure if he's uploading PBA. I know not everyone's uploading PBA, but I assume most of us are uploading PBA. But regardless, uh, link to his channel in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches that are in the Slitherwing division. But we're trying to bounce back from a very tough defeat in Week 4, where we lost our undefeated record. Very unfortunate, but it's okay. We can bounce back here in Week 5. Once again, going against the homie Amel. Let's put his team on the, uh, the show, show his team. Put on the screen. That's what I'm thinking. The screen. Put it on the screen right now. Boom. Uh, man's got a team. He has he drafted Pokemon and he's got a team. He's got Ursaluna that can Terra into whatever type it wants. He's got Annihilate, Young Relaboom, Slowking, uh, what's that called? Uh, about the bird Zappin Zapping Zappington, um, Tinkaton, Weavile, Grafanyanyai, um, Reggie Drago, and a Lycanroc Midnight that can also Terra into whatever type it wants. Grafai I can as well. I just kind of skipped over that for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, man, really strong team. A lot of physical prowess on his team. Not so much special, to be honest. And you'll find out that, uh, you know, we built accordingly to that with our with the six that we brought. But yeah, it's really just like Zapdos and maybe Reggie Drago that wants to be special. Everyone else, I guess I'm sloking. I guess, and everyone else, like pretty physically physically inclined you know what i mean like they're always pretty much going to be physical maybe you run a leaf storm fucking rillaboom one of these days or boom burst or something i don't know it is amel and my man is notorious and i do mean notorious for running some crazy sets i i, I you never know what to expect when you're building against him so i was like you know what i'm just gonna build a team and i'm not gonna try to think too deeply about what's gonna happen in terms of like the actual sets that are showing up i'm just gonna hope for the best because uh man's is very unique in his team building but, uh, yeah, regardless, um, let's get that off the screen right now. Let's talk about the team that we are bringing today. We got the homie Eject Pack Draco Meteor Dragapult. We're fucking bringing it, man. I need a momentum. This guy's going to give it to me. Uh, if we, if you guys don't know what Eject Pack does, once you get a stat drop, it uh, pivots you out. You, you, you leave the game. So if we drop a Draco and we can get momentum off that, that'd be pretty fire. The reason why we're doing this is because Tinkaton... I don't really think it's showing up. And if it does, I can get it to reflect in front of it and flamethrower twice. Not that big of a deal. My main concern is Choice Scarf, Lead Annihilate, just clicking Final Gambit. It kind of just claims one against my team, against everyone besides Dragapult. Uh, if it is Scarf, before I hit it, we can live a Rage Fist and a Shadow Claw. So then I can Draco it, put it down pretty low, and then bring in... Like, and if we know it's Scarf, then we can like bring in King Gambit. We can bring in like Ozu and Aqua Jet. Like, there's a lot of things. We, that, it opens up a lot of things for us if, uh, if with that exchange. That's kind of the whole reason why I want to do that. Also, I think, like, maybe an Assault Vest Ursa Luna could definitely show up and be the quote-unquote pivot into it. So then I can, instead of Shadow Balling and then, like, getting caught with my fucking... I can drop a Draco and pivot out into, like, a, once again, Azu or even fucking Zapdos or something along those lines. I do think that if it's any Terra type, it's either going to be, like, Steel or Fairy. Ah, uh, maybe not Steel. Probably Fairy. If, like, if I had to bet money on it, definitely Fairy. But yeah, we, we only needed these three attacks, and then I decided, fuck it. Maybe a late game reflect could allow somebody else to set up, like King Gambit or Zapdos to live a hit or even help Slow King pivot out with Chili Reception and stuff like that. So yeah, that is the whole idea behind the homie ham sandwich. Up next, we got Banded Zapdos, because I don't give a fuck about your Zapdos, man. First off, you're not running max speed. And, and if you do, I'm winning the speed tie. Secondly, this thing is so fucking free. Look at his speed tiers. It's literally, it's literally just Weavile. And we can actually live an Ice Shard in case they want to assume that we're Scarf or something like that. Um, and, and then, like, Grafai is like, whatever. Like, I'm, 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 I'm cool on Grafai. I don't think they're going to run max speed into Zapdos. I think if you see a Galarian Zapdos matchup and you're bringing your own Cantonian Zapdos, you're almost always running Fizz Def. So that, that's fine with me. If I get the static pair, so fucking be it. We're clicking a goddamn button with this Pokemon, hopefully. Up next, we got the homie Slowking and Satitan. I think... Is this the debut of Satitan? Yeah. Yeah, this is a Titan's debut. I, in case you guys didn't know, I dropped Delphox for a Titan back in like at the end of week three, so I could have brought it as early as week four, but I didn't. But yeah, so this is the debut of the homies to Titan. Uh, we have Fizz Def Slowking to be able to uh, get up Chili Reception. We also got T Spikes on there to help whittle things down. I know what you're thinking, Q. Q, what the fuck, bro? You got, you got, you're going up against Guts Ursaluna, and you're bringing T Spikes. What the hell's wrong with you? 
I'm, my, I'm most likely not clicking it, but it just just in the event that I need to. Whittle things down, like Slow King, to be able to get to Titan to sweep, or just just whatever. I, I just wanted to have the option there. The main goal of this Pokemon is to just switch in on a physically attacking Pokemon, like Rillaboom or something like that, and live a hit, get up a Chill Reception, get the homies to Titan in. Now I have plus one Fizz Def because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm an Ice type in the snow. I can Bella Jump for free, eat my berry, and sweep the fucking team. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. It looks like it could be very possible, especially with like Zapdos being as being the main like uh, Fizz Def Pokemon. Solo King uh, definitely dies to a plus six play rough. I might just be making that calc up. I honestly don't know. I really hope it does. Um, and then yeah, it's kind of it's kind of and stopping tantrum for uh, the uh, the other guy, the uh, the, uh, the Tinker Ton. Up next, we have Terra Bug King Gambit, which low key I should have brought this last week. I thought about bringing it last week, but I didn't think I was gonna bring it for a Terra Ghost Hisuian Lilligant. But it would have actually helped against that for sure. But hey, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, we you live and die. We live and die by the prep, right? Um, but yeah, it looks really solid here. I can Terra Bug in front of either a close combating Annihilate, a headlong rushing. Uh, what's it called? The guy, homie, uh, la -la -la, or Saluna. Um, low, uh, can tear a bug in front of like a low kicking Weavile. It just seems really strong. I can get off an SD in front of a lot. I can start pressuring, uh, their, what's it called? Their physically defensive Pokemon like Zapdos, Tinkaton, or Slowking really well with this King Gambit, which would open up our Zapdos. And it just look really solid. Up next, we got the homie Azurmeril, which at first when I was building this team, I was like, you know what? I want to run Bandit. Bandit is so free against this team. Uh, like if they bring Rillaboom, I have a good switch into it in Slowking. That's not a big deal. Like, it, Bandit just looks dummy fucking free. But then I was running some calcs, and I saw that I really, really wanted to have a better Weavile switch in. Because, uh, like, if Zapdos gets a kill and they bring in Weavile to Revenge, if they get the read on me that I'm going into Azu and um, just, like, Adamant Poison Jab me, it, it would have 2 KO'd, like, the Bandit said I was going to run. So I changed it and put a lot of Fizz Def into it with one, what, basically, literally max Fizz Def, still Adamant Nature. Uh, with 112 into HP and then the rest of 116 into uh, attack. And then like just a little bit of speed in there to potentially outpace an uninvested uh, Ursa Luna. But, um, uh, but yeah, uh, just with the lefties, I can guarantee always live even like life or poison jab from an adamant Weavile. So I thought that was really nice. And then revenge or play rough. And it just, it just, like I said, it just looks really fucking good this game. And I definitely had to bring it. And if it, and I really wanted to bring Branded, but couldn't, couldn't fit Bandit on the team. I wanted to... More of a reliable switch into the to the young Weavile. But anyways, this is the team. I've been talking so fucking long. This is the team that we are taking into week five of the PBA. I really, really need to bounce. Not need to bounce back, but I really want to bounce back and get a W. Last week's last week's loss in the PBA really, really felt bad. Like I felt so silly. I, I got fuck. I got stopped. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna I wanna try to bring it back and you know show you i can i can win again guys trust i can win again i promise uh anyways if you guys are new to the channel click that subscribe button like the video check the homie aim out link to his channel in the description down below with that being said let's get on to the battle all right y'all here we are for pba week five going against the homie Amel. really insane team he's got no slow king no rillaboom and no tinker ton so that's pretty cool no lichen rock oh no there's a lichen rock i was gonna say no grafaii okay so the only mon that can tear on his team is Ursa Luna and Lycanroc, huge threats. But what we're going to do is we're just going to lead off with the homie. Um, they could lead Drago as well, I guess. But that would be a little crazy. But maybe they do. I don't know him that well. Link to his channel in the description down below. Go check him out as well as all the other coaches in the Slitherwing division of the PBA. Let's fucking get into it, man. Do I really lead Polt? Do I? I guess I do. Let's do it. Just lead Polt, man. Let's see what they want to do. Uh, if they lead Weavile, that'll be a little annoying. Um, same thing with Drago, because obviously I have a fairy type to switch in, but like, I don't want to. I want to use it for something else. We'll see how it goes, man. We got to bounce back from our uh, last week loss, and hopefully we can. They do lead Lycanroc, so that's pretty good. Uh, does Sucker Punch knock me out with Lycanroc? Lycanroc, Midnight, Sucker Punch. It does not knock me out. So yeah, I'm just going to get off a of Draco. Draco does a fuck ton. I'm just going to get off a of Draco. We do just pop one off. Beautiful. They might go for rocks here. Big damage. They might go for rocks here. Do I have Aqua Jet on Azu? I've, I low-key forgot Azu set. Uh, I do have Aqua Jet. So I might go into Azu, but I also kind of want to preserve HP on Azu. What I think I'm going to do is... Uh, they could play rough or s crunch here. I think my best bet is to just go Azu. 
Does this allow in anything? Not really, per se. They do go for rocks. Okay, so it was just like a sash rocks lead. So pretty cool. Could have got a reflect up, which would have been nice, but it's fine. We're going to knock this out. If they choose to like pivot into um, Zapdos, that's okay too, I suppose. I just jet. They do withdraw. So they are pivoting probably into Zapdos or getting a Rage Fist proc with Annihilate. They do just go Zap. Okay. Pretty good pivot. I could have called that, but I did not. Do we get paired? They're a Rocky Helmet. Okay, good to know. I was almost pads on my Zapdos, but I was like, nah. I want banned for that damage, baby. Um, Because it looks like they are defensive, so we should be able to get a strong hit off on them. Um, I'm going to go back into Pult and potentially get up a Reflect on what comes back in. We have absolutely no Hazard Control on our team, which is why, I guess, lead like in Rock Midnight was pretty safe for them. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to go for Dragapult, and let's look up Zappingtons. They might Volt Switch. They might U-Turn. Um, max HP. Draco still does a lot. So let's see what they want to do. They could just Discharge as well. That's very viable. It's very viable. They could also just, like, U-Turn into fucking, like, Weavile or something. They do U-Turn. Okay. Well, we're going to see what they want to go into. If it's Scarf Annihilate, that's... Low-key okay? Kind of okay? Not really okay, but kind of okay? Let's just see what they want to do. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I think... The fuck? I was like threw a rock in my window. I'm gonna uh, just see what... We'll see what happens. The team is very, 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 very worrisome. And also, I think I said in the intro, Amel's just an insane fucking player. Alright, they do go into this. So I am... Oh my god, it's in. I am gonna get up a Reflect. I think this is my play to make. Let's go for a Reflect. We'll see if they're like Terra Fairy or something here. Um, honestly, Draco would do a fuck ton of this, no? Ursa Luna. Draco would do over half. Headlong Rush does knock me out. Play rough. Doesn't knock me out through Reflect. You'll love to see it. So yeah, we used Dragapult kind of how we needed to at the moment at least. Um, I think I am just going to fire one off now. They might Terra Fairy here, which would be kind of crazy. Voice Crack City. They did Oh, I didn't bring water. No, both my bottles are empty. They do Terra Fairy here. Come on, bro. Not, not. Please don't do it. I need Chip. I don't want Chip. They do Terra Fairy here. Good play, man. Good play. I just threw my water bottle. Good play. Fuck me. All right, well, I mean, what does this do? This means King Gambit comes in. And clicks Iron Head. How long rush? Oh, for sure. Terra Fairy. One ally fainted. I mean, I low-key do. I mean, they're, they're at the, they have a defense drop, so they, they definitely die. Um, They definitely die if I go King Gambit. I don't want to pop my Terra right away, but I kind of should low-key in case they're like Jolly Max speed. I think I, I, I really don't want to because I kind of want to keep the Terra Illusion in the back. But I feel like Zapdos is a very easy switch in for them. But I also don't want to get caught like a silly head and click Kotal Cleave in front of the Fairy type. Um, Man, it's a tough one. This is a tough one. Weigh my options. They might just sack off Lycanroc as well. That's a thing they could do. Hmm. I think I do Terra. And I'm going to SD. They do withdraw. Okay, so this is somewhat okay. If they go into Lycanroc, we can Sucker Punch. They do. Okay, this is good. This is okay. We're gonna. We're honestly going to dent the team. Because let's look if it's like... Offensive Zap with Hurricane to my Terra Bug. Does kill us. Never mind. But it's not offensive, right? Surely it's... Oh, it still kills me. <laughs> but wait, plus two sucker should do a fuck ton, right? Surely. Oh, yeah. So I'm cool with that. I mean, they can spam rocks here if they want to. I'm going to click Sucker Punch. Like, they could, they could spam rocks here if they want to. I'm going to click Sucker Punch. Taunt. That's fine. 
Wish I could have just hit this thing. That'd been great. Um, I'm going to click it again. Come on, man. Just give me the Lycan Rock, please. I would love to just knock this guy out. Oh, wait. I have a Reflect Up. I totally should just be hitting this guy. I want to do... Oh, the voice in the screen turns, too. Yeah. I mean, I'm not... I'm going to click it again. I'm going to click it again, man. Let's go. That's right. We click it three times, baby. We don't give a fuck. All right. Perfect. So, whatever comes in, I think I'm just going to hit it. If it is Zapdos, I do think I just hit it. Because they, they, sh they... Sure, they could have Hurricane. But, like, if we're looking at my team... Would anything, like, entice them to run Hurricane? I guess, like... I guess Donphan? I guess? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know, man. I don't know. All I know is I'm plus two. An ally has fainted. The fact that they haven't gone into Zapdos yet leads me to believe they don't have it. Um, and I'm just gonna... I don't know. I'm just gonna kick Kotal, Kotal Cleave next. And see where the day takes us. King Gambit popping the fuck off, hopefully. Let's see what happens. They do go into Ursaluna. Okay, so we're going to find out if they're Jolly or not. Or they just want to bait in the Iron Head. I don't know. I'm clicking it. I am adamant max speed. So if they're Jolly, they outpace us. But if they're not, then they don't. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Papi Chulo. Oh, he was baiting out the Iron Head. Okay. I guess they needed that chip for the Hurricane to guarantee kill. Is my guess. Wait, this and a sucker punch should do the should do the damn thing. Oh fuck yeah! I'm actually gonna click Kotal Cleave because they're definitely roosting. I'm clicking Kotal. They're definitely roosting. Cause sucker punch knocks them the fuck out, like for sure. They're roosting. Show me roost, please. My heart's racing. Sucker punch 50/50s are insane. Please click roost. You know you want to. Click roost or miss the hurricane. One of the two. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Roost or miss the hurricane. Thunder wave. Perfect. Please, please, King Gambit. Please, King Gambit. Please. Please break through, King Gambit. Please. Let's fucking go. This is dead. Let's fucking go. All right. Bandit Zapdos is alive and well. So now, obviously, you know what I mean, they get to go into Ursaluna and get a kill. But, the fact of the matter is, it definitely kills us. <laughs> Surely, yeah. Facade is 99 min. <laughs> um, the fact of the matter is, I will sucker the, the, the Ursaluna. Because it does a decent amount of chip. But hell yeah, dude. And if they don't go Ursaluna, I get another Kotal off. It's looking pretty nice. Not gonna lie. It's looking pretty nice. They do go into Ursaluna. They could SD, I suppose... But I have Banded Zapdos, which should revenge, right? How much does Banded Zap do with Brave Bird? 63 minimum. I mean, they might SD. I'm just going to sucker. Okay, perfect. We get Chip. That's all we needed. That's all we needed for Banded Zap. And they went for Play Rough. Interesting. Okay. That was a crit. I don't know if crit mattered or not. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, that crit hella mattered. I could have... <laughs> wow. I, wow, if they did that and then didn't crit, I could have just knocked them the fuck out. Anyways, it's all good, guys. We get to go into Zappington's and click Banded Brave Bird. What you want to know? And then they got to make a choice of whether or not they're going to... Uh, when they bring in Weavile... Wait, I definitely click uh, Zapdos G, Terra Fairy. I just want to look at something. Drill Peck could also kill, but I, I don't think my HP matters. Like, I can, I still live in Ice Shard, I guess, with uh, you know, in front of Weavile, but I don't think they would go for Ice Shard. I think, if anything, they just go for Ice Spinner. If they want to make the play on um, Azu, they could Poison Jab Raw, which would be, which would be a great play, of course. But... It shouldn't 2 me unless they're, like, banded or something.
so let's just bring Weavile up. It's Reggie Drago, Weavile, and, and Annihilate alive. They do go into Weavile. So yeah, let's give him Poison Jab. Man, what I wouldn't do to be Scarf right now. Um, so yeah, let's see. Azu after Rocks. 8.2% chance to 2KO after Stealth Rocks and Lefties. And that's if they're Jolly. Um, so I think I do still keep this around because it literally kills the other two Mons. And I am going to pivot into Azu. I am chipped already a little bit. So if they do raw P-Jab here like a boss, then they do 2KO me. Pretty much guaranteed. But then I would just get my Aqua Jet chip. Let's see what they do. Do they Sword Stance as well? That could be a thing. The Ice Shark. Perfect. Let's go. We get a kill with Play Rough. Their Life Orb. Ooh, wait. Life Orb. What am I at? I'm at 266. 72. It never kills me. Liquidation in the Aqua Jet should knock them out. Like, every time. Um... Player just doesn't have a switch in. I just don't want to miss is my issue. So I am just going to liquidate. I'm just going to liquidate. I think if they have P-Jab, they stay in. But I guess if they don't have P-Jab, then they switch out. But it, it'll be okay. Like, I'm very aware that Play Rough just knocks something out here. And if they go into, like, a Scarf Annihilate, that'll be a bit tough. But, um, they do switch. Fuck me. Hopefully it's Reggie Drago. It is Drago. Okay, this is fine. This is perfectly fine. Because now, we, now, now we'll play rough, obviously. Okay, big chip. Okay, now we play rough. In front of Drago. They've already terrored. This isn't even a terror captain anyway, so I'm worried about nothing. Um, we just play rough. Honestly, this just potentially just gave us more lefties. Ooh, Thunder Fang. No para. Let's go. We land. Perfect. It's working, Angela. So it just comes down to if it's Scarf and Iolape. Scarf and Iolape could definitely still bring it back low-key. Because I would have to... I honestly would have to not hit it. I think. Annihilate. Did yeah, I do go Annihilate? Um, okay, let's not give it max HP. Let's give it max speed and all that. Woo! Your boy is nervous. I mean, good thing is, if I can get the thing up... I do just knock it the fuck out. But if they bulk up here on my play rough, a play rough in the Aqua Jet should kill. The only thing I'm worried about is like base 100 Rage Fist, that plus one, has a very strong chance to knock out Slow King. But if I land this play rough, even if they bulk up, a play rough in the Aqua Jet should knock them out. So let's just go for that. They do bulk up. Okay. This should knock them out. Come on, Azu, please. Azu, Azu. Let's go, Azu! Okay, they're max fizz death. Never mind. We might have lost. Oh, shit. We might have lost. Wait. They might not be max, like, attack then. If that's the case. Which, if that's the case, we have, a, we have a chance to live this. I think we just go for it again. Come on, Azu. Azu, tank this, baby. Come on, Azu. I know you can do it. You can do it. Put your back into it. Fucking life orb weavile. No P jab though. They do rage fist. Do we live? Azu? Azu! Let's go! Let's go! Alright, perfect. And then we just... Um, honestly, I'm just going to... Here's what I'm going to do. Hold on. Because I don't want to give it a free SD. I don't want to aqua jet into a free SD is my issue. Um, life orb... Because then they knock the fuck out of, uh, let's see, Night Slash is the best move they can add. Um, let's see, Slow King G. A plus two Night Slash definitely knocks me the fuck out. And then I have, I literally have nothing for that. So I think what I'm going to do is play rough. Or no, uh, I think it's still Liquidation actually. Right? Because, oh wait, would plus, would plus two life orb ice shard finish me off? It definitely would. So I actually have to just land another play rough. Oh man, I'm shaking right now. Okay, they, they don't SD. Perfect. Perfect. This is fine. Life orb weavile. Unless they have taunt. Should never beat slow king. 
Unless they have taunt. Unless they have taunt. Which, I mean, hey, they had it on Lycanroc. They could have it on this. Oh my gosh. Um, let's just chili. They have Night Slash. Don't crit me. Perfect. And then we get to get the final kill, potentially, with uh, the homie. Potentially with the homie. Under the snow. We just got to play rough again. <laughs> we literally have to play rough once more. One more time. Yeah, we got to play rough one more time, man. Oh, my gosh. Yo, low kick is actually looking pretty scary. We just got to play rough one more time. Let's go! Doesn't kill, but the next one will. And this low kick should proc our citrus. Oh, thank God. Okay, now we just get the stomping tantrum, surely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Shout out to Citrus Berry. Otherwise, I might have just lost here. Stopping Tangent was 100%. It is. Okay, perfect. Let's fucking go. Let's go. It's the Titans debut when it clutches up. Yo, shout out Azu. Azu was fucking insane this one. Holy shit. But really strong team. Um, Terra Fairy Ursaluna, while I assumed that's what it was going to be, was very strong against me. Like, holy shit. If they Terra Fairy the first turn on Dragapult... Um, I guess it didn't really change anything, because they I just got the reflect up. It actually would have saved me one reflect turn. But yeah, and then the sucker punch 50-50s were crazy. King Gambit showing up for the first time, because I think the first battle I ever did bring it in, I just it just sat in the back, it didn't do anything. But hell yeah, man, what a game. Uh that's gonna be our week five of the PBA. We do actually bounce back, which is dope. I think 3-0? Three, no? three not 3-0. Three, no. Uh I think a 3-0 win. Pretty dope to take us to go into what, four and one now. So oh my god, I'm dude, I'm shaking right now. That shit was crazy. Alright. Uh, if you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to like and subscribe for you. Make sure you go check the homie Amal out. Link to his channel in the description down below. But with that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Peace. Let's fucking go.